Hey, hey, hello. Welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm your girl Tuba. I'm back with another collective reading for whoever needs it. Um, this message means to find you. If you're watching this video, maybe this is for you. This is a collective reading, general reading, take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, I don't know what will come in the reading. We will see that what spirit want to tell you. Maybe messages from your spirit, your angels, your guide that you need to hear it. You need to see it. You need to watch it. Okay. Um, because I'm going to channel it. Like, let's see what this group is, is today. This message will be about which group and if it's resonating, then definitely claim it in the reading. Uh, you can also book a personal reading. Everything is given in my description box. You can reach out to me if you want to. Everything is given below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can also book a personal reading. Be careful from the scammers and fake accounts. I will never approach you. I will never contact you anywhere on social media, even, even on YouTube. So be careful. Let's go. Let's see it. What's happening for you? What is the messages for, for my collective today? What we need to know? Let's see what's happening in your life or what's going on. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Here you go. Um, this is not you. This is not you. This is someone else's energy. Nine of Pentacles. You're definitely focused on yourself, your work. Um, you could be um, right now making money. You could be feeling good about your life. You could be feeling very passionate about it. You could be working on some project here. Nine of Pentacles also feeling independent and confident. Also could be emotionally you're not relying on anyone. You're learning how to love yourself, how to take care of yourself. You're okay being single. You're okay being alone. You're okay being uh, who you really are. Um, yeah, I think you're not in a codependent relationships anymore. You're not allowing anyone to play with your heart. You could be also taking, uh, focusing on the fruits, focusing on the rewards. You could be working hard or you already received the reward of your hard work. So you're feeling good. Nine is also number of completion. So you could be definitely cutting people out from your life who are toxic, unhealthy, karmic, releasing, purging, focusing on yourself. Some of you I'm hearing that you could be purchasing something. You could be investing in something. Um, you could be, um, I think you're taking care of yourself. You could be taking yourself in salon. You maybe dyed your hair. You maybe did shopping. You're purchasing something. You're feeling good. A lot of things. It's all about you. It's all about you. We also have a knight of wands. So this is that person. When you are focusing on yourself, this is them. Okay, coming. There's something with the Egypt here or desert area or desert places. I'm also seeing Greek, Italy. I don't know. Greek. Yeah, Greek, ancients. Something with the Egypt, desert places. Knight of wands. It's Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, this is that person. Sagittarius energy. Uh, this is someone who is who's rushing in into your life, I think. You could be attracting a lot of players right now. I don't know what does that mean. Because you're, you're definitely glowing up and your glow up is attracting maybe players. Or this could be someone that you already know with the Knight of Wands. Inconsistent in and out in your life. So that person coming back. The player came back. Yeah, Five of Wands. Sorry, it's not Five. It's Seven of Wands reverse. Yeah, I think I'm hearing the war is over. Yes. You declared, you announced to this person, the war is over. I'm done with you. You maybe already told this person, or you maybe your action, the way you don't care, the way you are not, you know, responding to this person behavior. You're like, this person is definitely afraid to lose up. Seven of Wands reverse. This is also someone who's going to unblock you maybe. If they blocked you, they're going to unblock you. This is also someone who's going to let down their guards. Seven of Wands, it's, it's like they were blocking it. They were blocking it. They were defensive. Their ego, their pride was coming in the way. But now it's like they're like swallowing. There's definitely sw they're swallowing it and they're coming towards you. Um, this is also someone who maybe you had a fight with. You had a conflict with. This is also someone who was fighting with other people. Maybe a lot of people stop this person like do not approach them. Do not contact them. But they're not, they're, they're not going to listen to anyone. This person does not care about anyone. Um, but it looked like they were fighting and defensive by themselves. But it's like they're, they're definitely letting down their guard. I'm hearing the armor is down now. I'm hearing I give up on you. So you give up on this person maybe already. You give up on them. Because you're focused on yourself. This could be someone that, yeah, I was feeling it. Aries energy, emperor, the daddy. This could be your sugar daddy, your daddy. Or this is someone who is... Could be already a father. They could be a father. This is someone who is very controlling. 
with the emperor energy they could have a power they could have authority this could be a boss or someone that you're working under they could be interested in you i'm also hearing one night stand so be careful either you already had it or this person want to have it with you knight of wands and yeah this is someone that wow this is wild you give up on this person but they're not gonna give up they're coming it wants yes they're coming fire sign Aries, leo sag um you could be earth sign and they could be a fire sign it's like an opposite attract energy or this person have a lot of fire and earth in their placements you have the world bottom of the deck yes this is someone that you completed the cycle with um Literally, you could be a single watching this video, but you have no idea someone is interested in you. With the world and it wants, this is someone could be a secret admirer or this is someone that you used to talk on internet or social media. Maybe you used to flirt with this person. You were taking it casually, but this person took it very seriously. It looks like there's something that this person fell for you. Yeah, I'm hearing Cupid's arrow. Sagittarius energy, very strong. World, Capricorn, Taurus, fixed sign, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius in their placements. Um, but mostly I'm feeling Sagittarius or Capricorn energy here, very prominent. This person going to send you a message on internet, social media. You may be used to talk to this person back and forth. You, you used to send them messages. You maybe met them on internet for some. Yeah, this person live far from you, definitely. They live far from you. The world and it wants. There's a long distance connection here. But this person does not care about anyone. They don't care about the distance anymore. Maybe they were afraid. They were, that's why they were defensive. They were not making the effort. They were not fighting for this connection because they were feeling it, it is too difficult how it's going to manage. But now with the Nine of Wands, it's like they're coming with the Nine of Pentacles. They see that they maybe see that you're going to choose someone else or they're going to lose you forever. This is definitely someone who could be independent, single, also just like you. They're coming. They have a lot of passion and desire for you. This is also someone who changed your world or they want to change the world. Yeah, they want to be your prince, uh, charming, not the knight in shining armor. That's what this person energy is, very masculine. Yeah, you maybe free yourself from this person. You're like, I give up on you. I'm not going to fight for this person anymore. I'm, I'm giving up. So there's something that you give up or let's say this person give up on you. Or they, they thought that or they were very defensive. They were not making any effort. They were not, basically, they were not fighting for this connection. You did not see them fighting. But you're going to be surprised at how they're coming. They're going to surprise you. They're going to surprise you. I think with the world also presence here is talking about karmic. So you maybe have a karmic connection with this person, a tie with this person. It's not over yet from this person's side. You are over. You're done. I can see that. I'm not seeing that you have any regrets. I'm not seeing that you maybe used to talk to this person because the way this person is shooting their arrow, it's like they're aggressive. They're very passionate. Uh, they're, they're also rushing into it. I think they don't want to hear no. Some of you, this person wants to meet you. They're just literally going to say that I want to meet you. I want to see you. Let's meet there. Let's they're going to plan some type of a meeting. They're going to travel to visit even your country. They're not going to afraid. I'm telling you, they're, they're, they're definitely coming in. And this time they're not coming just, to, you know, for something. It's like they want to plan something. So they want to meet you somewhere. Yeah. So this could be a planning of a holiday or this person maybe want to have some type of a good time with you. Yeah, one week or eight day, eight days or one week, you know, or let's say 10 days holiday because this person really already is like, um, they may be going to inform you like I already booked that. Just go there. Just let's go there. Let's meet there because I'm coming. You're coming too. Or they may be going to pick you up. Something like that. Yeah, the moon reversed. I think um, this is very clear. This person is not going to be defensive anymore. They're going to tell you everything. The moon. I think there's something coming out from the hidden Something, the secret is coming out. This could be a secret admirer. They have been watching you for a long time. But this is not going to be secret anymore. Maybe you, this is also someone that you did not trust your intuition to. Like you're like, no, I cannot trust this person. You maybe, your intuition was telling you like this person is coming. You may be seeing a lot of readings telling you this person is coming. But you never saw them maybe in reality, in practical life. I think you will see the big change coming for some of you the complaining they complain okay that oh my god i'm just watching the readings that this person is coming this person is coming but i'm not seeing this person is coming because you give up on this person you give up on you know waiting or something so this is the big first message for you here is that the nine of pentacles in the world are you done the work are you ready for relationship yeah some people say yes we are no i'm talking about energetically emotionally mentally are you ready 
because universe will give you the relationship when you are independent you're not codependent on relationship even though this person is coming like you're still gonna choose yourself you're still gonna love are you ready or you want to be codependent on someone because just they are coming for a partnership that's the test and think i think a lot of you already passed the test you don't care if this person is coming or not you don't care if they're coming yes you will you will welcome them you like them you may be fighting, you were fighting for this person's attention. You were fighting for this connection. You used to talk to them, you used to chase them, but you give up chasing. You're like, no, I'm not chasing anyone. I, I attract love. That's what you're doing. You completed the cycle. You may be completing your own healing, okay? You're working on yourself. When you're busy doing your thing, this person is going to surprise you. The secret is coming out though. Just get ready. The moon, they could be um, they could be Capricorn moon or you could be. We also have the moon is talking about Capricorn and Cancer energy. So you could have a Capricorn and Cancer axis or rising or moon. Um, they could be definitely Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. King of Wands, there you go. Knight of Wands and King of Wands. This is the same person. This is a player. This is a player. Eight of Cups. This is someone that you walked away or they walked away from you. Nine of Wands, they were defensive. You were like, oh, I'm goodbye. Goodbye, I'm not going to waste my time on you. Are they, they run away from you. They ran away from you. They left you out in the cold and they're coming back now. This is definitely someone you invested your time into it, your energy. You fight for this person's energy, connection. You used to talk. You used to, you know, have feelings for. But somehow this person disappointed you. They were very defensive or they were maybe, let's say, they were selfish. They maybe choose something else or someone else over you. Now they're returning. You have... Maybe two people coming your way. One could be your age or some could be the other person could be younger than you. But I believe this is the same person, King of Wands. So in, in the past, they were Knight of Wands. But now they're coming as a King of Wands, taking responsibility, proving you being consistent here, wanting to invest in this connection. The wait is over, I think. This person is coming. You're definitely dealing. You have dealt with this person. You have a history with this person. This person still have a lot of passion and desire for you. So this is a fire sign. Obviously, they're impulsive, but at the same time, they're earth. They have earth in them, okay? So they were very slow, maybe, to give you commitment, or they were non-committal. They were not wanting to get serious. You could be seeing a lot of 8-8 eight, eight, or 7-7. Seven, seven. So that's a sign. This person is coming. Yeah, full moon. Something going to happen on a full moon, or maybe, yeah, moon, full moon, definitely. You maybe had a very uh, lot of moon cycles with this person. So you definitely had a cycle with this person. But this time you're choosing yourself or you choose yourself. And this person is going crazy because you used to chase them. You used to, you used to go after this person. This person could be very attractive and charming. But, but it's like they're very attracted to you though. Yeah, you maybe have, uh, if you're single watching this video, you definitely have options coming into your life. One of you could be situationship or old fling or someone that you used to chase, used to talk. You used to, you know, had a fling with this person or talk to or flirty energy. But you never took this person maybe seriously. You give up on them. But their coming is like, you're going to be surprised. Because in this long time, in this whole time, when you were focusing on yourself, they were watching you. They were keeping the eye on you or they were hidden. This could be a secret admirer that's going to, uh, you know, shock you and surprise you. Let's see more. Queen of Pentacles. Yes, you're an earth sign. So they could be a fire and you could be an earth placements. Heavy earth Capricorn. So you really choosing yourself. Look at this. Seeing your worth and value. You're waiting for your king. You're waiting for your divine counterpart. Queen of Pentacles. This person sees you. Look at this a rabbit. You could be born into a rabbit here. Yeah, this is someone you, they are manifesting you. There could be an age gap here between you and this person. Magician, Gemini or Virgo. Yeah, this is definitely someone who's very like a attractive person. Could be manipulator. They can charm people with their face, with their body, with their attractiveness. But there's nothing working on you. You're choosing yourself. So, wow. Congratulations. You passed the test here. Queen of Pentacles, I think this is someone who sees you very stable. They see you very reliable. They see you are different. You're not going to chase them. You're sitting there in your own power and they're coming to you. It's like they were also waiting for you. They were also sitting there in power like, come to me, come to me. But you did not chase this person. But finally, they're going to make a move. They're going to be like, oh, I'm going to, someone, somebody else will take this person. So let me make a move. Let, let me get this person before it's too late. This person could be manifesting you. You could be seeing a lot of signs, symbols, synchronicities about this person. There could be a telepathic connection going on here, but you're not listening to your intuition. You're like, no, whenever you think about this person or see something about this person, you ignore it. 
but it's happening finally you're gonna see it three of cups yeah this is someone who definitely want a reunion with you want to reconcile with you want to start all over again this could be someone that who want to be a friend if this is a new person because i'm seeing ace of cup there is some new someone new here who is watching you in your community in your friend circle friends of friends this person want to be your friend some of you this is a new person you maybe have a choice between two people a new person or could be an older person you could be manifesting new person look at this the magician you're manifesting new you're manifesting something beautiful breath of fresh air or some of you you could be manifested this union with this person so yes they're coming they're here but keep focusing on yourself but this is this looks sound like a reunion or reconciliation divinely guided this this person have unconditional love for you they're gonna choose you they like you they want to be with you they fell for you or let's say if this is a new person they just want to be friend with you they just want to get close to you so it's just the beginning yeah nine of cups finally your wish is coming true get ready because you are going to get rewarded here your all manifestations or dreams coming true let's see when this person is going to contact you i want to see that yeah, there's a lot of love here. Ace of Cups, Water Sign, a lot of love. If this person was in a third party, they're going to drop it for you. Yeah, it could be, this is a Leo maybe, or it could be in a Leo season. Within five weeks or five months, number five is important. When the sun will be in Leo, maybe. We also have the number nine could be important. Nine days and nine weeks. We also have an Aries. Aries season is coming. Yes, definitely in a fire season. Aries, Leo. And number nine, number 19 or 15 could be important dates, 19 or 15. Aries, one week or one month. Wow, this person is coming very fast. I can see that a lot of passion and desire for you. Could be in a Gemini season two. So basically in March, April, then May to June, and then August. These are the important months here. So let me show you the advice for you. What is the advice for you from spirit? What do you need to know? Okay, we have the divine nudges. Yeah, look at this. Uh, so this is talking about you're already getting a lot of synchronicities. So trust that, trust the process. You could be also seeing angel wings, butterflies, a lot of numbers. That's everything reminding you of this person. Life path number 195 could be important. We also have the animal kingdom. Here you go. Yeah, I think that this is talking about you could be seeing a lot of animals. Your spirit animals, your guides are with you. I'm also seeing that there's a lot of pets here. Like I'm seeing the fish, cat, dog, turtle, cat. The wolf is important. You could be adopting a pet. Something with the, with the animals here. I don't know. This person could be um, is an animal lover. I'm also hearing this person going to give you some animal gift like pet. Connecting with the pets or animals, that could be your spirit guide that's gu guiding you. <sighs> yeah, I think it's very beautiful energy here. I think I, I should take one more. Some of you, it could be a rainbow tribe couple, you guys are. Your pets are also watching you. If you, if you have diseased pets, okay, they're not there in this, in this world. So they could be watching you. They could be your spirit animals now. They could be guiding you. They are definitely, you're seeing it. We also have a trance dance. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, just keep keep dancing in your own pace. Keep working on yourself. It's working. It's also talking about going with the flow. Look at this, how she's enjoying. So you, you could be a dancer or this person could be. You're going to celebrate something, I'm telling you. Look at this energy scanning. Wow, they're coming together. Look, you're definitely energetically connected with this person. You know who this person is. You cannot break the, the cards with this person. Impression versus expression. The medium's toolbox, blending with spirit. Yeah. So you're manifesting them, they're manifesting you. You're mirroring each other. Look at this, energy scanning. Yes. It's coming. You're going to celebrate this. I'm telling you. You're going to be very happy and excited that this person is here. Finally, this person is here. But the question is, do you want them? That's a question. But you manifested this person. So your manifestation is here. Just trust the process. You're on the right path. Keep focusing on yourself. Keep doing you because I believe that you have a lot of options coming. Or the person that you manifested, you like, you give up on, you thought it's never going to happen, it's coming. You're going to be come together because you are soulmates. You divine counterparts I'm seeing, I'm seeing, okay? So if you're single, you're not going to be single because I'm seeing that you're single. You're not going to be single. There's someone coming who is going to sweep you off your feet. It's like a secret admirer or something is hidden from you. 
that's coming out of the surface. That's your reading. Gonna see you later. Bye. God bless you all.